is more than just the absence of war. There are a lot of places on this planet where people are so hungry, so beaten down, so tired, so dispirited, so exploited, that they don't even have the capacity to make war. We need to go beyond thinking of peace as a, a noun and begin to think of peace more as a, a verb. I think peace is understanding. Um, I think if you understand what people are thinking and where they're coming from, um, it helps you understand that at the bottom there is a similarity among people around the world um, and, uh, and that uh, there is a oneness among people around the world. Um, and if you understand that oneness, then I think peace follows naturally. I really believe that when people on one side of the globe understand that their everyday actions matter to individuals on the other side of the world and they do so uh, treating one another who are closer to them in distance with mutual respect and kindness um, along with treating the environment with respect and kindness that uh, there is there will be that possibility for more universal peace. With the Arab Spring and the natural disasters and things it's been an interesting time for students to observe what world conflict means and um, what we do here is to encourage more American students to experience other cultures and other countries because in doing so they learn a lot more about themselves and learn how to be more open and more understanding and accepting of other cultures. At the end of the day that's really what world peace is all about. I think it's a very highly personal journey and I look at the journey that our students are here and how they experience our communities and whatever we can do to be proactive about making it a positive experience here is only to the good for our community, for them personally, for the world and that's good for peace. We're in the unusual position of, of being a neutral ground, so to speak, when people come to Michigan State from all over the world. And I've, I've actually seen with my own eyes situations where individuals from countries that ought not to get along, get along just fine and become fast friends. And I think the role of an educational institution is to provide that neutral ground where people feel free to express their thoughts and opinions. And, and I think that we play a very central role, even while governments are working out their differences. One of the main goals in the work that we do among our faculty is to promote what I would call more peaceful communities. And I think the obvious reason is that in societies where you have the aspects of uh, equality, social prosperity, respect and appreciation for diversity, you seem to have stability. And it is in stable communities and societies that you're able to promote uh, development. We work with faculty members who do a lot of research on, on peace and on um, the end of gender-based violence. That's a very crucial area for us. Um, that would be gender-based violence in the home, that would be systematic in, within societies, um, and we work to, to promote recognition of this and to promote the prevention of gender-based violence. Uh, so real peace, uh, or order in a way, if, to, to use uh, another word, uh, it's not really possible without a relatively high degree of legitimacy. So peace, order and legitimacy in my mind are all interconnected. Peace is the outcome of an order that, is cons that, that has uh, adequate legitimacy in the eyes of whatever units, human beings, uh, regional states, the, the states inhabiting the international system. Peace for me is about the absence of conflict. Um, so I'm usually focused on both peace and harmony, what would make for a more harmonious world. But to get to harmony, you need the kinds of mutual understanding, mutual respect, uh, admiration for each other. That's something that a university like Michigan State University can help build through its many, many domestic and international connections. So it's something we can build here as a community on campus, that the kind of intercultural understanding in our students, our faculty, our staff, because of the presence of people from diverse cultures across America and from diverse cultures around the world. But it's something we can also build on in our engagement abroad.